Hi, everybody. This is Leanne Curtis. I played Megan Morgan in Critters 2. Welcome to the bite. No, wait, what? She still got it. She still got it. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest critters podcast ever. ever, ever. That's yeah. right. You heard it from Megan Morgan herself. Greatest <laughs> podcast ever. <laughs> oh, who are we gonna call? Critter Busters. Dad's all torn up, and Mom's got like a harpoon thing in her neck, and they're getting bigger. <laughs> Those um, man-eating hairballs that you do not believe in. Critters. <laughs> they bite. All right, welcome back, guys, to They Bite Podcast. This is the fifth episode, and today we... Uh, and Sean is laughing his ass off over here. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Sean. What's, what's so funny? Oh, Megan Morgan's here. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Leah Curtis. We have Leanne Curtis here uh, for our podcast. She is Megan Morgan in Critters 2. And, yeah, she did some other stuff too, right, Leanne? I just ripped a bong head. Is that okay? <laughs> Holy shit. We are totally on the same level, Mia. This is amazing. <laughs> Chris, well, I was going to be the most sober person on the phone. Call. Intro. <laughs> yeah, it was a good intro. I think we nailed it. <laughs> It's a bong water going in the background. I don't know if anybody heard it. Oh, this is the best. Okay. So, Taking her hot milk and vanilla. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, we, we, we pretty much had a 20-minute conversation before the uh, the intro. Now we did a whole podcast before the intro. Yeah, we did. Um, now we're doing the podcast. Uh, exactly. The, the podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Holy shit. That's the only kind. Yeah. <laughs> so that, I was actually is that watching, how you... Uh, um, yeah, go ahead, dude. Yeah. No, go ahead, John. All right. I was actually watching the Sesame Street pilot <laughs> before uh-huh. we did this. Right. Uh, they cut me out because I, I ended up on the floor of the editing room because I was rude. I told so, the director so you, he's stupid. So you aren't in it. Well, I am and I'm not. I actually have a still photograph from the day we were shooting. Okay. But I didn't make the final cut, unfortunately, and it has everything to do with my attitude, I'm sure. Yeah, so I just watched all that crap for no reason. This For sucks. nothing. Look at it. <laughs> okay. She had the bomb here, too, did Your income just went out the window for nothing. <laughs> it, I'll admit, I enjoyed it. It was still pretty good. <laughs> was that your first, oh, yeah. uh, was the Sesame Street your first um, acting job? I think it was, and then... I was equally as disturbing uh, uh, an actress on a set of a commercial in a supermarket. They put me in a little rolly thing, and they told me to look at my fake mom, and I didn't like that, and I kept looking at my real mom, and then they got mad and kept cutting. Yeah, it, I was not I was not good. How old were you? Little. Not old enough. <laughs> Apparently, okay. I wasn't ready. Yeah, I, I was reading that you were four on Sesame Street, but apparently I was. It, 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 I was like, I was like, there's no four year old girls in this. Like, no, oh, there was a, an agent named Mae Ballhauer. She was a friend of my dad's, and like, she said that they wanted to cast like mostly five and six year olds, but I happened to be very articulate. I still don't shut up. Um, <laughs> and I, you know, I was very kind of forward for my age. Apparently, I told the director he was stupid. So yeah, I, I kind of got a shot because you know. When you're smart and precocious, you get stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, like, opportunities. And then, because you're not mature enough to deal with it, you blow it. Like, yeah, that was, it has been by the time I was five. Oh, well, God. It, it, it's still a claim to fame on your internet profile, too. You're, like, not in it. It's like, a, that part's erased. It's like, all right, she started on Sesame Street at four. <laughs> I did. And then, except, you did, really. I have a picture of me sitting on the stairs with Bob. He's reading us books, and he looks like a pedophile, honestly. Yeah, well, it's, it, that show's creepy, dude. I don't know. I like the electric company. <laughs> Morgan Freeman and Rita Moreno. That was the best. <laughs> okay, so can I just jump into a critter's question here? Um, of course, since we were talking about electric company, what a perfect segue. Yeah, exactly, dude. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> 
Chris tried contacting Eddie Deason years ago. Uh, you know, the nerd dude in the movie. You know who I'm talking about, right? I know Eddie. We were just okay, at okay. the same convention. Like, okay, okay. Right. I, I wasn't able to go. I suck. Yeah. Um, no, you don't suck. You're smart. No, thank you. No, thank you. You spend uh, your money on smart things like Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, you get it. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't recall being on the movie at all. Uh, do you have any stories like like of him? Like, I, I don't know. I just always assume he's probably in like a big coked out state. <laughs> wow. I don't know. Like, Eddie seems pretty straight edge to me. Honestly, really? Yeah. No yeah, shit. Like- Wow. <laughs> Leanne, do you remember um, I did a written interview with you like five or six years ago? Um, I remember that. And I remember like meeting you in Jacksonville. And I remember you were very sweet. And we shot a little video. Oh, thank for... you. You were very sweet, I too. <laughs> well, I did a written interview with Eddie Deason as well. And he replied back with every single one of his re- responses were, I don't remember. I don't recall. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, that's all Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, that, that yeah. was his interview. Yeah, so that's why I'm just like, you know, do you have any yeah, recollection? Yeah, make up for that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he had one too many hungry heifer burgers. Oh, yes. He's got yeah. mad cow and doesn't remember anything. <laughs> he said oh, that he God. was on set for less than a day. He was there about a day. I think it was, was it a day? It might have been two days. Okay. How it long, wasn't long. How long was the whole shoot? Oh, gosh. I want to say six weeks. Because you had to be there for most of it, didn't you? Yeah. Uh-huh. I was, I was uh-huh. <clears throat> yep, it was pretty cold. It was I cold? remember having to wear that little Easter dress, and it was like 30 degrees. And then, here, can you choose some ice cubes so the breath doesn't come out of your mouth? Like, you, you need to normalize your mouth temperature with the outside temperature. And I'm sitting there going, are they fucking kidding me? Well, okay. Really cared that much choose some ice. That. <laughs> yeah, so you do a movie trick to the ice, and your breath doesn't get visible. It's great. You just catch pneumonia, wow. but hey, no one will see your breath. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> people, people, really are gonna, people are going to notice that that's fake <laughs> if you don't do that <laughs> to this monster movie. <laughs> yeah. Now, Sean, did you? Know, I don't know if you knew this or not, but um, for Leanne to get this part, she told me this back at the convention I met her at that she had to lie about driving a certain type of truck to get this part. Really? <laughs> yeah, I had no idea how to drive a, a three on the tree, but I did know how to drive a stick shift, and and Cheryl like didn't, so <laughs> I got it because she couldn't drive a stick. I could. I didn't know how to drive the exact kind of stick that they had, but I learned pretty quickly. I mean, it's a stick is a stick. It's a clutch, right? You push yeah, the, I, I, put I down know. and change the gear with your hand. Just because yeah, it's on the know. steering I'd column doesn't so make a difference. Not I'm, I'm an idiot, so I'm, I'm impressed that you did that. Because I, I don't even know how to like change my oil and stuff. So, <laughs> I would have, I would have gotten. You know, that I know part. how to change a tire. Whoa. I can do that too. Holy shit, dude! That's impressive. Yeah, see, see, it see, is. We, it's we, fun we can too. help each other out. I can just give you money, and you can do all the man stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> how much? I don't know. I'll, I'll work it out. I, I work it out. Uh, don't be okay. telling me about taking it out in trade. That's not good. I want green back, cash, money, you know. <laughs> no, I don't even have credit Franklin. cards. It's great. Yeah. No bad. plastic. Paper. What? what? No. Plastic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's <laughs> answer Twitter's question, dude. <laughs> no, I never groped Mick Garris. What's this? Oh, that wasn't the question? No, I, I completely okay. missed it. I think I missed something good, too. It's okay. You can hear it back in the playback. Ah, son of a biscuit. It'll be the surprise comment that you didn't hear. All right. Start the you heard me, right, here. Chris? Yeah, <laughs> I got that. Okay. He did. I think it made him feel awkward. I was waiting for you to elaborate a little bit. Yeah, to elaborate on that. About how I didn't here. grope Mick Garris? <laughs> Do a lot of people grope Mick Garris or something? No, oh, I don't think so. Oh, sure. Hmm. Yes. Okay. I'm I don't know. Man. Maybe Harvey Weinstein groped him. But he groped oh, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Harvey Topical. Weinstein seems to have groped everybody. <laughs> Except me. I'm feeling very left out. Is that inappropriate? <laughs> the garrison complex. <laughs> Completely. Not me too. I can't. I can't hashtag me too. I can't. <laughs> I mean, the only thing I can accuse anybody of ever is like fucking leering at me. He looked at me. He did what now? 
Yeah. Can't go six o'clock ahead of me. Leered. He was leering. leering. Yeah. Leering. Le- like I'm not minimizing it, but like it just never happened to me. Thank God. <laughs> no, you're minimizing it. No, I'm sorry. I didn't. Mean- Speaking of many, incorrect. Speaking of many, many, there was a lot of miniature critters on set of critters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, such a good segue. nice one. High Very nice. Over the phone, man. I didn't grope them either. Did you not get to you know a puppeteer any? I fondled them. I didn't grope them. There's a difference. Yeah. I am anatomically correct. <laughs> what was your? I don't know about them being anatomically. Co- I can't even say the word. Anatomically <laughs> correct. Yes. I don't know. That's a Kyoto question. That is. I'm sorry. <laughs> what was your uh, first three. thoughts of uh, of seeing the critters and stuff rolling around on set? Well, which one? I mean, there were the ones on the strings, and there were the little puppet ones that actually moved and went yeah. like that. And then there was, you know, right, <laughs> the big giant fucking critter ball that was just, you know, yeah. weird. Well, which was your favorite of those? Um, well, I think the most ridiculous part was screaming at the giant critter ball that kept catching up with my car and, and Lin Shay and like me trying to bat it away from the car. That that was probably fun. I like that. How do, how does this movie like um like rate to you? Like like at an important as far as scale like the career? making of from, no, from just the like standpoint. an important like an important scale in your career, like when, when you had kids, like where you're like, I'm going to show them critters first. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I kind of wanted, I wish there had been something more disturbing, but unfortunately <laughs> it just like, <sighs> I know I could only take it so far. Cause like, really, what is it? Girlfriend from hell critters too. What else is disturbing? Like there's really, I don't know. I, I had to leave it to like Austin powers movie yeah. to, to, really, really, really inoculate my daughter when she was four. <laughs> yeah. Did you get to keep yeah. any of those critters? No, I did not. But I have pictures of my son, who's now 28, with critters when he was tiny. He was little when we shot that. Oh, I, I would love to see those pictures. He actually didn't exist when we shot that, but he went to got to go see some critters later, like got pictures oh. taken. <clears throat> now, actually, you told me that um, you, from where you didn't have any like props or anything that you brought home, you told me you did get a pair of socks or something like that. I have my home? socks. I was looking at them the other day. I was thinking to myself, how stupid are you not to have brought your critter socks along with your Sorel boots when you went to New York three weeks ago to catch the flu? Um, <laughs> my feet were nice and toasty, though. They'd have been toastier with my critter socks. What, what, are, right what are the critters' socks? I don't even know what you guys are talking about. Here. They're woolen. They're like, you know, it's like super wool, thick wool, gray socks with the little red, um, like, at the top. I don't know. It's a little red stripe at the top. And there's a little critters, too, embroidered on one of them. Whoa, but really? But not both of them. Yeah. Is it wrong yeah. of me to want those? Sock. What? Yeah. I said, is it wrong of me to want those? Oh, I want those no. socks, too. There's nothing, wrong, there's nothing wrong in anything. If you want those no. Socks, you want those there is socks, no wrong. Know. There's not really good and there's not bad. There just is. And then Yeah, exactly. Right. And, like, if, if people could just do that with everything, life would be so much fucking simpler in the world and people would be so much less hateful. We just go hateful. so much deeper into shit that we Right. <laughs> right. Um. Right. As much as uh, as much as they say I like to start uh, confrontations, I really I'm a pacifist. <laughs> I think I think I just, you might I just get serious. ornery under my own roof a little bit <laughs> about oh, stuff. Okay. Yeah, stuff. stuff sucks. Okay, <laughs> we did. Did you get to go to any uh, like screenings of the movie after it was done, like the the premieres or anything? I'm gonna Eddie D's in you. Who remembers? I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, I remember, I remember when we had to go do ADR, but that wasn't a screening. That was that was like having to reloop some lines where the sound was a little funky. Um, just, was there a premiere? Oh my god, I can't remember. There's a wow. there's a picture that's 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 on the internet that has um, Roxanne Kernahan who played one of the the bounty hunters. Um, She's dead now. Yeah, 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 that's I saw that news a while back, and it it's a shame. Super sad. <clears throat> she was young. 
uh, she has a, a picture uh, of like a giant critter, like somebody dressed up in a giant critter suit and visited her or took her to the premiere. Um, and it's like a, a promotional photo that Warner Brothers, I think, or New Line had um, that were passing them out and stuff at the premiere. Nice. <clears throat> I, do you, I was just wondering if you actually like got to go to the premieres and if you had any memories from it, seeing it for the first time or anything. You know, I remember having seen it in the theater, and I remember packing my way in and not having to pay for it because I'm like, you know, I'm <laughs> Megan Morgan. Do I really have to get it? Really? I'm Megan Morgan, bitch. <laughs> I'm Megan Morgan, yo. <laughs> uh huh. So, That's how right. often does people yell Megan Morgan to you in public? <laughs> Never Megan Morgan, but never seen candles. No, of all bizarre things, like at least my hair was semi normal in in critter suit, right? But like, no, <laughs> one part that my hair is like the most whacked out of all. That's what I get. Like some chick full on recognized my laugh once. <laughs> no, I'm not even kidding you. I was in a row of seats in a hallway waiting to go in on an audition and I, I guess a friend or something, I was talking with somebody and then I laughed and then this head pops out of an office and said, that's the laugh from 16 Candles. Oh my God. Is, is there, is that, that's the girl from 16 can where are you? Literally. Ah, I thought that was so just so funny. bizarre. Yeah. yeah. So, that's the what, weirdest what one that? ever. Is that like, do you think that it's more weird for like, like Chris and I to be so obsessed with critters or do you think it's more strange of someone to be like insanely obsessed with 16 candles? No, I think people like what they like, you know, and I don't know. I think it's a good way to be obsessed with hard boiled eggs. Like, and then it still wouldn't be wrong or weird. No, that's kind of weird. It would smell a little funny after a couple of days. Yeah. I don't know. That's taking it too far. You think? Maybe. I thought so. Hard boiled eggs. No. I'm more judgmental than you apparently. (laughs) <laughs> well, does that mean if I have a hard boiled egg thing, it's over? Uh, you won't be my sugar daddy? Nah, for you, Megan Morgan. I just, she's, yeah, I'll overlook the eggs. What if they're yeah, quail eggs? They'll be tiny eggs. The tiny, tiny eggs. eggs parakeet eggs. They look like Mentos. <laughs> <laughs> but don't Easy eat it by accident. <laughs> Oh, oh, critter eggs. Oh, we're back on critters. I love the segues. Back <laughs> the segues are right? great. Back to the critter yeah. eggs. They're, yeah. they're fun. Yeah. They hatch and they eat Speaking money. Of sexual then. harassment. Critters. Oh. Great. Critters. Up the guy's pant leg, right? Didn't he go up the pant leg? Or in the, he he went certainly the, did. Ha- that's right. Yeah. And then that's... ate him from the inside of the bunny suit. Hop, yeah. hop, hop. <laughs> now, do you remember that scene being filmed much? Like, that must have been I do. Stick around I remember there. falling asleep standing up. Like, in the church, and then the gunshot, like, that went off, and then I woke up. So you're really sleeping in that scene? Um, I was in the corner. I don't think that I was actually in the shot. I was just that I was there for the next shot that I was supposed to be in, but I was so tired that I was falling asleep against the wall. Never stood, fall asleep, stood up before. That was the first time. It's the last time. Never done that again. What about the, the scene at the end when Charlie crashes the spaceship and kills the giant rolling ball of critters. Um, yeah. Were you all like on set when the big explosion happened? Yeah, there was lots of fire. Fire! Yeah. I was on set when that happened. And I was on set, and, and the guy, the pyrotechnics guy, he was fun. <laughs> he liked to blow stuff up. Yeah, yeah. He had to stay yeah. far, far away from that. There's lots of fire, lots of flames, way up in the air. They're They're watching the whole thing burn. There's lots of fire and boobs in that movie, actually. It's a good movie. See? Is that that your criteria? Boobs and fire? (laughs) Yeah, and poop jokes. Titties and beer, titties and beer. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So, it was a a relatively safe shoot then, right? Like, nothing went wrong or nothing, no props or anything messed up and hurt anybody? No, buddy. No, yes, it was okay. Everything was fabulous. We all had fun. I think... I caught the flu then, too. Yeah, you catch the flu a lot. Oh, that's fitting. <laughs> I, I actually don't. But, like, you know, when I go butt first out the car window, I had serious laryngitis that day. Was, they were making me drink nasty things like golden seal tea. I remember the unit production manager and then the lady. 
every time every time I'm driving my car and I park somewhere that has to be like a really tight spot, I I think of that scene every single time of trying to squeeze out the window and just being like, perfect oh, yeah, that's, fit. That's, that's, that's your Do you answer. ever go out your window butt first though, like Maggie? Yeah, I, I think about it. I think about it. Your entrance you to this movie it? is literally. I think Sean fault. needs to videotape you doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, why not? We'll do it. We'll reenact mm-hmm. that scene for you, Liam. Yeah, there's no way it is cool though. Well, here you send it to me, and then I'll I'll, I'll dub my voice. I'll take your voice out, <laughs> and put my voice in. Perfect. It'll be great. Perfect. No, what, what is it? It'll be like there a bad it? Godzilla movie. <laughs> there is here, no such thing. Your lips can start moving, and then I'll start movie. talking after. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, you really do enter this movie with your butt. I never thought about that. It might be like the the only way someone enters a movie with their butt in history. How do you feel about that? Right, that's not like inappropriate. No, it's not inappropriate. No. Right. Yeah. No, I know. No. But yeah. In fact, okay. I never even thought about it until right now. It's actually it's kind of funny because it's, you know it's a butt joke. But yeah, I never thought about that. Oh wow, we did it. We went butt. We did. Yeah. Look at that. We do. We're covering the bases, guys. <laughs> <laughs> have we gone? Have we done a poop joke yet? No. Poop. There we go. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Look, you could bleep yourself out with the word poop. Poop. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow, wow. There you go. See. That was fantastic. The remnants. So yeah, well, so that that's really interesting. Yeah, I've got no one's ever brought that one up. Uh, nope. <laughs> Only you, Sean. Uh, what? Thank you. What is your biggest memory of, of doing Critters 2? It would have to be putting <laughs> clothespins that I gathered from the grips all over uh, a pair of agents who are out there from a company called APA interviewing Mick Garris to see if they wanted to uh, represent him. And when they got back to their car and got in, I'm sure uh, they got right back out because there were many clothespins hanging on the back of their jacket coats. Um, you're quite the prank. And I don't think that Mick, uh, I don't think Mick got represented by them after that. <laughs> did, did he find but out that was you? I think he's also you? doing okay. Aren't you, Mick? You're doing all right. <laughs> yes. If you don't he, hire me again, I won't, I won't bring any clothespins to the set. <laughs> did he find out about that? Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I yeah. have to hear this. Did he go off on you? No, Mick doesn't do that. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, he's he's so what a happened? Kind man. He's still a kind man. Was he just like, <laughs> was he like, Leanne, I need you to to come to my office? No, it was more like, you know, Leanne, I need you to uh, just simmer down, please. Settle <laughs> down. <laughs> just a little bit. He's such a nice guy. I love Mick to death. He's so a very kind uh, human being, actually. How is this movie like a like a time capsule in your life? Not in, like almost not to do with the movie. It was the like last it, thing I did before I got pregnant. Like, is it? Yeah, it was the very last project I did before. That would make sense if your son's twenty eight. Yes. Wow. Yeah. yeah. This is Rock and Roll High School Forever. He was on set with me on that one. And Girlfriend oh. from Hell, well, that's kind of when I got pregnant. It was right after that. So I guess Girlfriend from Hell was the last movie I did before I had babies. But God damn it. It was just a lie. It was all a lie. Lying Leanne. That's me. <laughs> little fibber. Little we fibber. Oh, rough, my fibber. nose. Just shit. My parakeet just landed on my nose. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 um, what brought you, like, interest in doing the Critters uh, 2 movie? It was... Just something you saw a script for and you wanted to do it, or somebody was like, "Here's a script. It doesn't matter what it is. Go do it. You need to do a movie." <laughs> um. Well, I mean, a lot of it is timing. Like there have been times where I've had three different things, like, and I, I had a choice because I could only do one, couldn't do all of them. So I usually would go for the feature film if it was a choice between at that time between TV or whatever. It would be the feature film. Um, but with Critters 2, I liked the script. It was a lot of fun. It was very tongue in cheek. You know, I liked how it was written and I was very grateful, but it wasn't, you know, it's just a regular 
process. You go in and you audition, and then they just sort of wean everybody down to the final couple choices, and then stupid things like I can drive a stick and she can't. That's you know ultimately. Yeah. Well, what else would the audition really entail? Did you have to scream at some critters? Did you, would be, were they like, be scared of this? Be scared. Be very scared of Mick Garris. No. <laughs> He didn't. No, I do remember going in like a bunch of times and having them tell me to, you know, go back downstairs. Like I went and hung out in my car for a while and then I went back upstairs. It was definitely like mixing and matching and it was a long afternoon, if I remember correctly. And we all got dismissed. Uh, There's one question I really want to ask you, Leanne. You might be the one to answer this. Uh, the area that they filmed Critters 2 at, um, at the end of the movie, it says, we'd like to thank the people of Grover's Bend. Uh, without their help, it couldn't have been made. And we know that that is not a real place, a real town. The filming oh, location... We believed it as kids. <laughs> yeah. Where exactly was this filming location? Because nobody seems to know where it was. Everybody keeps looking for Grover's Bend, but obviously that, that town doesn't exist. Right. No, Grover's Bend is a fake town that was built... Um, um, in an area of, like, I don't know how many acres it is, but it was basically just space where um, the fire department and the police department, there were, like, barracks. They would set things on fire, and they would do their drills up there. Whoa. So they just took the space, and they built this town. You know, okay. and I'm sure the drills continued. As they well, that means that kid's show. story is fake, Chris. <laughs> yeah, well, tell, tell Leanne that. about that kid. Yeah, there's a kid on the internet, go figure, right? And he says that it was filmed in his backyard, and he got a can of the beer from the set. You know, the can that just says beer on it. Is is there any kind of? I'm just wondering if there was anybody's house that we did go to, like. Yeah, was there any houses like nearby, like you know? Okay, I remember you saying once that you like did a lot of four wheeling or some shit on set, didn't you? Well, yeah, because that's where I had to go up in the trails to go figure out how to drive that that truck. Oh, okay, right. Like, because there were trails that would go off of where the um, the town was built, yeah. and they had like the trailers and stuff like back behind the town, behind the facade. Then there were some actually some closed rooms that had, I mean, all had electricity, but like they had to have a production office where you know they had the accountant and the wardrobe and all that other stuff. So, but there were definitely structures up, like, in the hills beyond where the structures that they put up um, for the movie were built. Um, And those were just, like, broken down barracks with broken windows. You know, we definitely pulled the truck over and, like, went around in there. It was a little creepy. It felt haunted, honestly. That probably was, definitely. Yeah, I remember driving up and down the freeways. um, And I remember CHP, like... I mean, it was definitely a haul. It was like 40 minutes each way. Um, and we were up there pretty much the whole time. So, you know, and then the odd hours that we would drive. But that's where a CHP guy told me that it's actually safer to drive slightly faster than traffic because um, your response time, I mean, unless you're being total jackass, that's not what he means. I think flow of traffic yeah. is like 70. Going 75, 77 is not the worst thing if it's clear-ish and you can sort of go from lane to lane, you know, and you sort of are able to see ahead because everybody's moving a little bit more slowly. You can't really do it too much. But I remember him saying that it was safer to drive like that. I thought that was very, very weird, but I liked it. And it made sense to me, actually. <laughs> I thought that was very, very weird, but I liked but it. But I liked it. I did. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm falling <laughs> in love with you. I <laughs> gave permission to do it. <laughs> in my head. <laughs> that story just went nowhere, but it ended, like, perfect. <laughs> I do that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit free association. All right, whatever the critters. What else can I tell you about critters? Like, I don't know. I've got the boots. I've got the socks. We've got no critters. I've no, I mean, oh, I'm hanging shit. out with Kyoto Brothers. Do you remember, like, uh, any scenes that were filmed and then they didn't end up in the movie? You were like, why wasn't that put in or anything like that? Right? Did it, no. Was it all just kind of over your head and you weren't really caring too much because you were young? You know. I was kind of young. Um, yeah, you still are. 
I'm still kind of young. Yeah. Even though my body's 52 years old, my brain is still three, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to agree with that. Oh. <laughs> it's weird, and I like it. <laughs> and my voice is still not normal. I'll tell you what, man. Last week, he would not have wanted to talk to me. I sounded so bad. And uh, this week, it's not much better. <laughs> I don't know. I wish we would have done both now. Kind of been fun. Why? So you could have, like, the, the sick Leanne and the demented yeah. not sick Leanne? We could just splice it together. Or actually, yeah. Like we could demented, have, like, and then there's just demented. Person. Yeah. We, we could have started a rumor saying that there was a, that Leanne has a twin. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, like in the basement. <laughs> Dad, like she picked up the phone instead. Right, it was severed at birth. Yeah. Kind of like basket case. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My little sister, Belial. <laughs> so, so you you in a basket. These, you watch these kind of movies, obviously. Did you watch the rest of the Critters movies ever? I didn't watch three and four. Wait, what, Leo DiCaprio was in one of them? Really? Seriously? Yeah, he's in part <laughs> three. Yeah, it's really dumb. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> like, but how is... Was it before he blew up? I mean, it must. Yeah. Like, why yeah. would he do a Critters movie? I'm so sorry. Yeah, it, I think it's his first role ever. Um, and then, like, a few okay. years later, Titanic came out, and then they like re-released Critters three, and they were like, they put him well, on the sure. cover. Well, and here, was, like, and his mom was star. like the biggest fucking drug dealer. Everybody used to go see Emily oh, DiCaprio. Oh yeah, it. and then she had to quit doing that. When he blew, here comes Gilbert Grape. Oop, there goes mom's business. <laughs> oh, so here, here's what you got to do, Leon. You, we have a job for you. You're in L.A. You need to hunt down Leo, whatever movie yeah. he's doing right now, and go ask him about Critters what? 3. Yeah. Ask him about Critters 3? Yep. Yeah. And blackmail him and say, oh, stop talking about your mom if you give me a job. <laughs> oh, dude, holy shit. You fucking <laughs> Imagine some, like, fucking ornery, like, ex-fucking-whatever who wanted to get back in the business and decides she's going to, like, get dirt on everybody. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, play it, man. Yeah. Yeah, he'll he'll shut me up with, by giving me a part. Did you guys see the, um, the Disaster Artist? Have you seen that movie? No, I don't watch new films really. really Have you good. seen a movie called The Room? Do you know what that is? I've not seen either of those, but I know what The Room is. Yeah, I know what The Room's about, at least. I had no idea what The Room was. And then, because it was SAG Awards, right? I had to start watching all this stuff, and I was sick with the freaking flu anyway, so how convenient was that? Fine. I, like, binged everything. These movies, they were all, like, everybody in the business is going to hate me. I'll never get hired ever again. They were all so dumb. I hated all of them. I liked the disaster artist, though. Then I found out it was true. Now I want to go see The Room. So you guys have never seen that? I've seen clips and stuff from it, and it just doesn't seem like my cup of tea. Well, isn't it about a bad movie? Well, The Room, yeah, the room is like a bad movie, and then The Disaster Artist is like the story behind it. It's about the making, making of The Room. Okay, all right. All right, yeah. I've been told about that. Everyone keeps telling me i got to see it. But usually when people do that to me, I ignore them. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was definitely interesting. I liked that, and I liked Get Out this year. Get Out was Get very Out was good. Like, yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. short and sweet to the point. It didn't drag on and on and on. And yeah. I usually don't see movies. People pulled out uh, too much satire from it, in my opinion, but it was, it was fucking awesome. Whenever a movie comes out and, like, everybody in the entire world goes and sees it, it's one of those movies that doesn't interest me anymore because of it. And I think that's why I love Critters because nobody fucking talks about this franchise. Yeah. It's, it's a kind of, it, it's, and it, it hasn't oversaturated. No, I mean, we were both born in 87. So we were born right into it. And obviously there was no merchandising for it. Nobody even cared then too much, you know, outside of renting it and thinking it was funny. So I think Chris and I both, it's like, this is ours, you know? So, you know, we're both like thirty now, and we still like he's covered in tattoos of it. I probably, so, uh, man. I probably freak right. you out. How many out tattoos here? do you have now, Chris? Like, were you first like, was that the first one that you showed me that you got? Uh, you more now? Uh, yeah, I have. I, I have two critters tattoos it. now. I actually, the, I have the the giant critter ball on my leg now. All right, that's awesome. Wow. It's perfect. <clears throat> what about you, Sean? I don't have any critters tattoos. I'm covered in beavis and butthead ones. Nice. Yeah, I probably freaked you out when I when I first met you, Leanne. Though, whenever uh, I I had never met anybody from the Critters franchise before meeting you and D and uh, And Donnie, and I I I was I was I'm more 
inclined to talk to people now, but I was super shy back then. And I was so nervous on meeting you guys. And I, I felt like after I left that convention, I was like, Sh- they're going to hate me and never want to speak to me ever again. <laughs> what? No. They're all going to think I'm stupid. I think I got no. drunk one of the days. I think I got drunk one day. And like, I was just going around just trying to talk about well, everybody that was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I got drunk is. one day, checking out some critters. And... You don't do uh, any conventions anymore, do you, Leanne? I don't do that many. I mean, like you kind of like there are agents for that, and I've got one guy named Matt, really nice dude who lives in New Jersey, and he got me into the L.A. Celebrity Show, and I did that. That was kind of like by LAX. And then I think he pitched me for Monster Palooza, and I don't know, maybe Chiller in April. I don't know. But, like, I, I'm kind of a hard sell because even though I was in movies that are kind of a big deal, like, it's hard to get a bunch of Critters people together, and I think it makes more sense if there's, like, a, a group of you, not just, like, you know. Yeah, I would definitely like to do that. <laughs> Again, I wasn't able to attend the first one. I'm out in New York, so I was quite far away from it. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm in Kentucky, and I uh, I drove a long way to meet Leanne. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's, I'm older now; I can do it. <laughs> Wait, now where are you, Sean? I'm in New York, like near Buffalo. But where? Oh God. Yeah, I know, right? It's like Canada. That's not yeah, it is. Like, it is pretty much Canada. But might as well be. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey, guy. Not your guy, buddy. <laughs> It's Did cold you, up there. Rochester, it's cold up there too. Eesh. Yeah, I'm actually closer to Rochester. The Canadians hate us, though. Like, you run into someone who's just here from Canada every once in a while, and you can tell they're just like, I'm an hour away from you. Get out of my face. <laughs> it's like they think wow. they're so different. Everyone thinks Canadians are so fucking nice. But, uh, yeah, I don't Not. know. They, it's like the most, they're known for the most violent sport. Why would they be that nice? Hockey, you know, it's toothless. Yeah. Look like a Willie Nelson concert. Oh well, yeah, I mean, I love some Willie Nelson. Also. That's right. I like Willie Nelson. I just think that most people have no. Yeah. Teeth. Well, it's like Juggalos, you know. It's like everyone loves IP too, but everyone hates Juggalos, <laughs> right? Right? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> well, oh man, this is the best night of my fucking life. Okay, <laughs> you got any, you got anything else, Sean, for Critters too? Oh man! Um, yeah, what else you got? I got some stuff got... for Curious too. I got some shit. Hold on. Hmm. Uh oh. You you own it? You own every movie that you've done in? Do I? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I've got a copy of everything somewhere. Do you? That's interesting. I wrote little things like that are cool that nobody's like Chris and I. You know, going everything there. but. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I did have a, a thing here. I, was gonna, I got more out of this than I, than I ever loved this. I got Leanne to, to say my Beatles collection is cool, and then she said, whoop, whoop. I could pretty much die happy. <laughs> I want to go watch Beavis and Butthead do America again. Now I wish I had like lots of disposable income so I could come to your screening because I fucking. Shit, sure, dude. I'd do it again. I'd do it for the 22nd anniversary next year. <laughs> Leanne, I thank you so much for doing this podcast. Uh, do you have anything else you want to add? No. <laughs> thank you for having me. Thanks a lot. It's it fun really talking means a lot to you to guys. Me. It's nice meeting you, Sean. Oh, thank you so much. It means more to me than you can even imagine. It really does. Thank you. Well, how about this? Next time I go to New York, if you are down in Manhattan in the city, let's go have a cup of coffee. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, there's yeah. a Starbucks right downstairs from my mom's house. Yeah, that'd be that'd be awesome. Leanne, yeah, let me know All if right. you do any other conventions. Um, you too, Chris. You can, you're welcome to come up. I don't think you want to drive all the way to New York to have coffee. That's a little lame. But if you happen to be in New York at the same time, or if you guys come out to L.A., let me know. I'll meet you guys for coffee. Yeah, Thanks, if I, Leanne. You're awesome. Leanne, if I ever get around to eventually doing my Critters documentary, which, who knows, I've been trying to work on that for five years now, six years, and I haven't got anything done. But if I ever get around to doing that, we'll head out to L.A. and uh, see if you want to be a part of it. Well, dude, I told you I'm down to help you do whatever. I got you. Oh, you're the coolest, dude. Thank you so much.
Thank you, Leanne. Okay, yeah, now man. We, now Always a pleasure. Say, now we're going to say something like, that's the end of the podcast, guys. Thanks. <laughs> you know. And then we say, oh, will you say kill more crates for us? Kill more crates for us. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Say good night, Gracie. Yeah. Good night, Gracie. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, good night, Leah. <laughs> a little ditzy. Leah, Leah <laughs> needs some uh, some coffee or or a nap. One of the two. Another bong. Wait, up, I've got sure. it. I got it. Hold on, hold on. Ready? Yeah. Oh no, no! It's not. This is a bad time for my lighter not to work. Wow! I just had to throw that in the trash. How rude! Let's see if the blue one works. I'm literally Ready, taking everybody? one. I'm taking a hit at the exact same time. It's fucking awesome. Okay, we've got birds. Hold up. Get away from the birds. Okay, or we can really hear it. Hey, this is what we do in L.A. because it's legal. I'll just sit my Red Bull. It's legal here. So this is bad. It'll work right. It'll work right. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. I think Sean died a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I, yeah. I really forced one down. <laughs> Alright. Alright, kind of thank you, Leanne. Like bon rip. It's alright. You kill Kreitz. I'll get stoned and keep making my music. And have a great night. You as well. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you. Yep. Good night, Leanne. Bye, you guys. Behave yourselves. Bye. 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 See you. Power of the night. Streets are cold. Leanne, uh, this is uh, this is Sean. He is the second host of the show. Nice to meet What's you. What's up, man? Nice to meet yeah. you too. Oh, How are you amazing. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. I made you go running home from work. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is awesome. So, uh, Leanne, I have to ask you, what is your voicemail? <laughs> I called your oh I God. called your phone. What is it? it? I, who like, knows? I. It, in the height of something ridiculous, I think I was like really bored. <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard your bird <laughs> chirping in the background, and then it was like you. I, th- I think it might have been you doing like a uh, a Spanish accent of some sort, and you were like, "Leanne came to come to the phone." <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably doing some kind of whacked out. I was so bored. Yeah, I should probably change that. <laughs> professional. No, it sounds like you shouldn't change it. <laughs> no, it's me and not home. And then this is was that the voice? Was it kind of like that? That was the voice. That was, I, I thought I yeah. dialed the wrong number, and I was like, I hung up real quick. No, I no, talk oh like this. I drive my children kind of nuts. <laughs> yeah, I have this fucking voice. I don't know. I just, it's yeah. I don't know. That's a good voice. It's well, a weird voice. I tell really, like, fractured fairy tales. Like, I pretend I'm the bird and that I get, like, Snow White all fucked up. Like, <laughs> and, <laughs> I just tell, like, a really weird story. And it ends up, like, with the, the the prince on the shiny white horse is actually gay and doing it with the huntsman. And <laughs> Snow White actually is really in love with all those three and a half men, which is really seven dwarfs because they're half size, so it's three and a half men. Like it's fucked. I, I'm fucked up. I have I have issues. Like, then before my mom dies, she's like, "You've got to record this story the way you tell it." That should be the next Hollywood one. movie. Oh, good God. I don't know about that. I do have a fucking horror movie, though. I do. I have to stop F-bombs. I have a horror movie all worked out in my head. I have to sit down and write it. And I have a whole story about my mom, which is actually true, that I also have to sit down and write. But, like, I also need to make money. So, like, I don't know. <laughs> you know, like writing like when, your forte. <laughs> you know, it could be if I sat down and actually did it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, like, it's almost like Larry Clark-ish. It sounds uncomfortable. 
Well, yeah. Yeah, it is. Right? I sound like I, yes, I am very uncomfortable. <laughs> um, just to let you know, Leanne, you can you can drop the F-bomb swear as much as you want to on here. You can oh, yeah. Because it'll just make me look really articulate. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, to have better vocabulary. Jesus. Yeah. I would pretty much just tell, like, poop jokes and stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> Are we going to do poop jokes? Is it gonna, oh, have definitely. we started yet? Are we recording? <laughs> I think no, but there, there was a fart joke in Critters 3, so... Yeah, Sean true. and his yeah. fart jokes and his poop jokes. Okay. I yeah. how it's going to be. <laughs> I, I bring the, uh, the poop jokes to the podcast. <laughs> oh, my God. I almost spit my hot milk all over the wall. That's not good. <laughs> yes, I drink hot milk. It's really pathetic. And I put vanilla yeah. powder in it, too. It's either honey or vanilla powder. Tonight it was vanilla powder. Well, that's interesting. We're getting a lot more out of you than we even expected. This is great. <laughs> Racist milk. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to talk about that. Not making racist comments on the air. That would be bad. <laughs> God. We always say we're going to edit stuff out, but then we realize... It's yeah, and then you never do, see? Because it's yeah, just so no. much more fun to leave it in. It's, yeah. it's more uh-huh. fun, but it's also a little bit of laziness on my part, too. Yeah, that's, okay. well, laziness is funny. <laughs> You called already once, didn't you? Did you? I called twice. Yeah. All right. See, this is like, I have ADD. <laughs> I have attention problems. <laughs> uh, so, no, like, it's I was, fine. I, don't, I was just well, making no, sure that we had a good connection. No, no, no. It's just, it's me. It's not you. It's like, I'm just oh, I've been either. making music all day. I should so, have been back at NAMM, but I've been tired. So. Well, now that I know I can call you and leave obscene messages. <laughs> can they poop them? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. So my husband be like, why are we leaving poop jokes? <laughs> poop jokes. <laughs> yeah. So Davis and Butthead called me. That's all. My friend oh, Davis dude. and Butthead. <laughs> well, yeah, you're, ta- you're talking about Davis and Butthead to me. This is like the greatest time of my life. Yeah, you're, you uh, me? Sean is like the number one guy for Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, I have like six. Oh my god, years. Beavis and Butthead do America. Like, I went and saw oh. it in the theater twice. I laughed so hard I fucking cried. And like oh I haven't god, seen it in such awesome. a long time. That, I know, right? <laughs> I just like, rented out the local theater uh, for the 21st anniversary of it just so I could see it in theaters again. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I have the biggest memorabilia collection in the planet on the planet for the show. Wait, are you seriously? Are you you shitting me? Are you like no, seriously? I, you're doing a screening of Beavis and Butthead do America and you rented yeah. out the theater to do it? Yeah, I did, yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Do you want to adopt a 52-year-old lunatic? Yeah, <laughs> 100%. You plenty to drop on that. Like, I've got plenty of shit that you could buy me. Seriously, like, I thought the story was cool enough. Wait until I tell people you were impressed. I was... <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? I was impressed and then asked you to adopt me. I need a sugar daddy. Like, do I have to do anything? Well, oh, I, have, yeah, I have disposable <laughs> income if I'm spending all my money on Beavis shit. So, yeah, yeah. Fuck, man. Disposable <laughs> income. Sure. I can help you. Oh, man. This is great. We haven't even gotten up to the fucking critters discussion. What? Yeah, we haven't even, we have not even started the show yet. <laughs> no, Why technically. Not? Yeah, are you going to do the intro, but we're, we're just going to start it back at what the What intro? Anyway. Like, I already. <laughs> 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 